Okay. Now do that triangle. and go. One of the most important uses of the home computers is as educational toys. Even very young children can interact and learn from a computer if it can produce attractive sound and graphics. This child is learning about shapes, but perhaps more importantly, she is learning about computers. Unlike many of today's adults, the next generations will accept computers as normal and will use them without hesitation or fear. At home and at school, computers will be everyday toys and tools. Computer program writing is not just a job for teenagers and adults. Given easy to use programming languages, Primary school children can be taught principles of programming. Right. Six. Is it thirty because that was eighty or more? Right. Six. These are getting bigger all the time. Yes. What happens if you change your view? I might go miss out one and just go on to the next one. Can you try? To motivate the children. Attractive, easy-to-use graphics must be available. The logo system here allows complex shapes to be specified using only a few instructions. Computers in education are also used to control interactive video discs. A microcomputer is combined with a commercial video disc player and the pictures chosen for display are under the control of the computer. The computer can access teaching material on its own disks and combine this text with pictures from the disk. These systems will revolutionize computer-assisted learning, particularly in continuing education. Osteoarthritis and rheumatoid and other chronic arthritis with widespread systemic involvement. You will now be asked to choose which part of the program you wish to see first. Student answers questions posed by the computer, and the next display frames are selected from the video disc according to his response. Good, and then the other way. Fine. All right. 